6'6 freshman from Auckland, New Zealand, number seven. Senior from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Try captain number five, Stephen Hunt. At Lee Barrow, a 5'8 senior from Honolulu. Try captain number one, Nick Castillo. Center, a 6 4 sophomore from Santa Barbara, California. Four captain, number four, Sam Mascaro. The Hawaii Stamp trainer, Brian Wong, video coordinator, Sheldon Tang. Statisticians, Tony McInerney and Kelly On. The volunteer assistant is Malika Labar. Assistant coach, Vernon Podleski. Associate coach, Jeff Hall. Head coach for your Warriors, Charlie Wade. season opening series split against conference opponent UC San Diego Hawaii will host the prestigious Outrigger Hotels Volleyball Invitational. This year the youthful and talented Hawaii team looks to the leadership and offensive power of senior Stephen Hunt. The Hawaii Warrior Volleyball team opens the tournament against Division 3 the pride of Springfield. And your starting lineups brought to you by Hawaiian Tell, Federal Credit Union. Here you see at the top of your screen as we are set to get things underway. Mike Becker out of Lancaster, Pennsylvania to get things started and very quickly underway in the first set of the night goes to Stephen Hunt off the block. Opportunity for Springfield with a big swing and getting the first kill of the night. The visitors out of Massachusetts. Number three, Mike Pelletier, averaging 2.5 at least last year. Averaging nothing coming in because, Chris, this is their first match of the season. Yeah, off to a good start there. Got their first serve in. Something that, remember, San Diego could not do last week. Right back to Stephen Hunt off the block and puts it down for his first kill of the night. Better set that time by Biscaro. His first one was a little nervous set. It was... Launched a little wide, tough for Hunt to handle that time. He corrected it nicely, brought it a little more inside, and Hunt buried it. Just underway, one all. Tyler Tanaka, the local boy out of Kailua, just forced to underhand it back over the net. And the other way, Stephen Hunt with the easy touch. Nobody able to get a big swing on this one, and in the end, the ball falls on the pride side of the net, and Hawaii the beneficiary of a somewhat easy point. You see Nick West holding his hands up. He, he, he did a back bump set that time that was not accurate at all. He's either going to work on his bump passing and bump, bump setting a little bit more or use his hands like he was just showing them. Off the block by Hunt and then off the hands of Biscaro and out. And a point for the prize. 
Well, very excited in talking to Charlie Sullivan, the head coach for this team, and being able to make this trip. By the way, this is the third consecutive season that they've started their trip going west, the last two seasons in California, but coming very far west this year. Nice dig back there by Nick Ferry to keep the point alive, and then trying to come up and make a save for Hawaii unsuccessfully, Sam Biscaro point for Springfield, and they lead it early 3-2. Perry popped up a nice ball. Here's the end of the play, a little tip shot, block coming down, no coverage from the back. Well, he's gonna do a better job of reading that tip, because it was not gonna be an attack at any time. It was gonna be an off-speed shot. You know, a lot of talk about the fact that Hawaii should just come out and dominate this match. Well, not so fast. And Nick West, and take a look at him. Elvis, has Elvis left the house? I guess so. I sure like the pass <laughs> that time from, from uh, J.P. Marks. That allowed Biscaro to give Nick West that great set. And I said, has Elvis left the house because he shaved off those big lamb chops that he had on the side, the Elvis Presley-type sideburns, and he still got them. And a great slam straight down, and that's Greg Falcone, a two-time second-team All-American. Well, he's going to be a fun guy to watch. He is big. He is strong. He can turn it both ways, cut back across his body like that. He can go away from his body. 240 career kills and 128 career blocks. Back to Stephen Hunt. Kept alive by Becker. And then Tyler Tanaka hits for a swing. And the young man from Kailua via Eli High School roofed in his first attempt. Good time the boy block knew where the ball was going and had to go out there to the right. So they got three blockers up. Not many places for Tyler to go just then. As I said, quite a homecoming for Tyler. Almost the entire block from his neighborhood in Kailua here to... Including you. Including me. I was going to say all here to root him on. I'm just here as a neutral observer. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a very special night for Tyler and the entire team. Tyler Tanaka, here he is back to serve. I think Springfield feels the first Division Three team to ever play in this prestigious tournament. And good serve by Tanaka. And then off the block, Nick West earning the kill. But Tyler Tanaka on that serve, that's as good a jump serve as we've seen. Uh, this year so far, including all the serves last week, he just, there's a bouncer off the head. So back and forth we've gone, already five ties early here. Even at 5-5, five, five, that one off the antenna and out, so service error and point Springfield. No team has managed to get two in a row, so no natural points except for the very first point of the game. Angel Perez out of Puerto Rico. Nice diving effort over there by Becker. We've seen Becker all over the place tonight. First set of the night. And a big swing over there by J.P. Marks, the freshman out of Germany. It'll be interesting to see what J.P. learned on night number two and gets to apply it tonight because he certainly had it. He struggled that night, as did... As did uh, Johan Timmer after having spectacular night ones. Two freshmen that came out, played like veterans the first night, and as you said, they played like freshmen the second night. It's, it's not correct. unexpected that that would happen. Right. As Sam Biscaro serves that one long. And of course, that's one of the, the key points that Charlie Wade was talking about, was getting those serves in. He said, we just, we, we never had an opportunity to put ourselves in a position to even get a little mini run because we just kept hitting it out and long and wide. And speaking of long and out, service error right back at you. We're even at seven all, seventh tie. So who's gonna get that little bit of breathing room and try to get some separation is JP Marks. Good biting serve. And then swinging and hitting it long, no touch. Point Hawaii. And the Warriors put together a couple straight. It was all set up by a pretty good serve by Marks. He put a pretty major heat on it, forced a bad pass. Got some terrific overspin on the first one. That one, too, off the tape. Handled well by Springfield. And then the big guy, 
six foot eight inch Greg Falcone earning the kill. Two years ago, he was the number one blocker in the country. So he's really good at defense. And he, look at this offense. Last year, he hit 524. That's a, that's an astronomical number, hit 524. He's a junior. He's already got 128 blocks. That's pretty impressive. And into the net goes the serve. Point Hawaii. And the Warriors up by one. Nine serving eight. And Jared Lofi, the senior middle out of Long Beach, California. The 18th Outrigger Invitational. Glad you can join us wherever you happen to be watching in on this Thursday night. And Falcone again, straight down with the kill. So if they get a good pass, it's pretty much going to go to Greg Falcone. And he loves to turn it back. I'm, I'd be surprised if Nick West doesn't shift his block and to take away that, that cutback shot and force Falcone to hit another direction. He's had three straight that have been there back across his body. Johan Timmer off the block, and he gets the kill. So Johan Timmer earning his first kill of the night. It'll be 10-9 Hawaii here in the first set. Again, UCLA beating Lewis in four sets to get this tournament underway. UCLA coming in ranked three. Lewis ranked nine. Hawaii ranked 13, according to the latest coaches ABCA poll. And Tyler Tanaka off the block. There's a big sign in the stands across the way that <laughs> says Tyler Yorohana is here in the house. 10-10, our 10th time. It was a great pass by Mike Pelletier that time because I thought uh, Timmer hit a beautiful serve. Stephen Hutt winds up off the block. Stephen Hutt puts it down. Point Hawaii. So Stephen Hunt will uh, take it back and serve it up for Hawaii. Big Thursday sports day in Hawaii as the annual Sony Open gets underway. And we'll talk about that momentarily because Chris, happy to see your son Parker McLaughlin in the field and first round in the books. Jump serve. Nicely passed by Angel Perez, and then Perez right back with the kill. Perez out of Puerto Rico. He's got the hops at 6-1. If he's going to be 6-1 and play on the outside against the Division I teams, he better be able to jump. Yeah, you see, he's got some pretty good vertical. He'll probably, I guess he's probably a 36, something like that, 34. Well, if your name is Angel, you better learn how to fly a little bit, right? There you go. You got it. <laughs> J.P. Marks blocked at the net, and the duo. And Jimmy O'Leary. And I believe Tyler and Becker in there, yeah. So fourth lead change as Springfield goes up 12-11. Once again, Tyler Tanaka out of Kailua the, serving it up. In the center, Mike Becker got most of that. To the near side again, it's Angel. And he is blocked by Lofi and Biscaro. <laughs> Even at 12, and Hawaii's still looking to gain a little bit of separation on this Division Three team. But again, if you missed it, they were runners-up last year. They have six national championships. Their coach, as you mentioned, Chris, has been there for 14 years. He's a veteran. 2010, he was the national coach of the year in Division Three. Nick West into the net. And this year, for the first time, it'll be an actual NCAA sanctioned national championship for the Division Three ranks. And it'll be held at Springfield. So certainly uh, they hope to be there representing their school in the tournament to be played in their gym. And serving into the net is Angel Perez. It's probably appropriate that the first Division Three national championship is held at the birthplace of volleyball. Uh -huh. 1894, William Morgan invented volleyball in the town of Springfield. Which I think at the, at the YMCA, I think. Yeah, a lot of history to the school, and it's such a small campus. In fact, their undergrad is only 2,200. Another 1,007 graduate students. 
And Tyler Tanaka winds up, swings it, saved over there nicely by Pelletier, and then into the net, point Hawaii. I think it's Hawaii's first natural point where they got a point after they served the ball. Piscaro got it started with his jump serve. We'll see if he's got another one go back to back. Let's see if Hawaii can go up by two for the first time in this match. Piscaro, he was a little bit less than pleased in his own performance after that last match to UC San Diego. Piscaro putting it up. Hunt didn't really get a lot on it. Back the other way. Blocked at the net by Lofi. Piscaro, back set. Timmer. Dug up nicely. Blocked again. Lofi and Timmer. And blocked again. Lofi and Timmer. A three point run by Hawaii takes us to our first timeout. And for the first time in this match, Hawaii gets a little bit of separation. 15 13. We'll be back with more from the Stan Sheriff Center. Back in the Stan Sheriff Center, let's take a look at our Kaiser Permanente keys to the match. Well, for Springfield, they've got nothing to lose. They've come all this way, over 5,000 miles to play. They've got nothing to lose. They've already been winners. You're here in Hawaii in the middle, in the middle of winter in Massachusetts. Life couldn't be better. They're going to go out swinging for sure. And for Hawaii, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. They've got to respect this, this Division Three team because they are good. They're well coached. They've got some talent, as we can see. Falcone, especially in the middle. I'm really impressed by him so far. He's got three kills and no errors. And the Pride losing 49% of its offense from a year ago, but also returning four starters. Hawaii in the midst of a three-point run and an opportunity here to set something up. Not a good pass. An overpass put down and point for the Pride. That was an easy play for Hawaii. They forced a bad pass. The set went way wide. They put over a free ball for Hawaii, and uh, Nick Costello just did not make a good choice by fisting up that last shot. And a big score that you see at the bottom of your screen in overtime. Happy to report Hawaii on the road, winning for the first time this year as J.P. Marks puts it down. But Hawaii basketball winning in overtime, 74-68 to at Fresno State. The Bulldogs now are now 0-3 in the WAC. Hawaii improves, and that's a big win. And in that game, Zane Johnson, 24 points. Joaquin, Vander Joaquin with 23, and Hawaii next goes to... Nevada Reno and they are undefeated in the way that'll be a tough one back here big block at the net by Lofi He's already been in on three blocks tonight Shot by Marks to keep that one alive Hunt off the block and out And a point for Hawaii we Give some credit to Jared Lofi that time where how he took away Falcone's cutback Nice dig by JP Marks in the back and a timeout as Charlie Sullivan says, okay, I want to talk it over. His team has been there point for point with Hawaii, but now down by three, we'll take a break. You're watching men's volleyball, OC Sports. I want to check out the series record between these two teams, sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. And this is a pretty easy one. There is no record between these teams. <laughs> As we said, first time Springfield has ever come here. The other two teams in this tournament, UCLA, that's their 11th appearance in the Outrigger Invitational. Lewis is appearing for the fifth time. And, of course, UCLA has won this event five times in its storied history. Al Skates, of course, the head coach. Nice job digging that one up by Nick Costello into the game, wearing the Libero jersey now. Descaro and then Costello setting up J.P. Marks. Doesn't get a lot on it. Overpass. Lofi and hits it right into the waiting break foul call. And you talked about that last week, about that overpass. If you're over the net, take it. If you're a couple steps back, best think about it. Exactly. He, he just gave it away, and there's Falcone, who, you know, a great blocker, arguably the best blocker in the country in 2010, at least. Good jump serve. Nice pass by Costello. And fisted over by Johan Timmer. Off the block to Hunt. Hunt off the block and down for the kill. And Stephen Hunt with his fourth kill of the match. 
The squirrel is giving Hunk the ball right where he wants it. A little wide, but actually he got a good swing at some high hands there. He goes up and challenges Falcone, who's just, you know, the guy's 6'8", about 230 probably, and he's well built and gets out there and gets over. He's a, he, I like him as a blocker and as an attacker. So now Brooks the door to serve. As he replaces Lofi, Sador saw some significant action in that second Friday night set against UC San Diego. Good serve. And a good job of keeping it inside the antenna by Pelletier. Timmer off the block and down. And Johan Timmer with kill number two on the night. And Jeff, or rather Charlie Sullivan, is going to signal for another timeout as Hawaii extends its advantage to four. 1915, set number one. And back at the Stan Sheriff Center, and what do you say we go inside the numbers presented by HMSA? There's a big difference between Division One and Division Three. I'll tell you, zero scholarships for Division Three, including Springfield College. And for Hawaii, they get the equivalent of 4.5, which they split up a bunch of ways. They generally try to get, spend a lot of money on, give a lot of scholarship to one or two players, and then they divvy up the rest so that everybody gets a piece of the action, at least some books at least. Yeah, as Charlie Wade told us uh, all before last week, it's very rare that anybody gets away without having to pull something out of your pocket to play volleyball in the Division I ranks. And that one's going to be called in. And so that's a point for Springfield. Kind of a little bit of a delay. And so a point for Springfield. They're back within three, 1916. Sador out and Lofi back in for the Warriors. Oh, Lofi back out. Libero goes in. Costello in there. We got that dual Libero rule this year, allowing a couple of the opposite colored jerseys to be in there. Set to hot. And oh my, that's what we've been waiting to see. We've seen it a couple of times. We see it in practice. But that thing is just about 90 degrees straight down. Wow, that was some kind of hit. I can feel it <laughs> shaking under the bench right here. I'm telling you, Stephen Hunt just absolutely tattoos this ball. Kaboom. Blockers couldn't get together. He goes for a little celebratory run. Yeah, get out of the way of that one. Timmer with the serve. And then speaking of straight down, Greg Falcone. And Falcone. He's already starting to tally up the numbers. It's a little cutback shot again. And West just can't jump over there in front of him fast enough. Falcone with four kills on the night. And Pelletier also with four for Springfield. And that time, roofed. Jimmy O'Leary and Tyler Tanaka to put the squeeze on Stephen Hunt. Larry did a nice job of getting to the outside. Did not bite on Nick West's fake in the middle. Right back to West they go. Kind of tap back over the net, rolls off the tape. Setting it back up. And Angel Perez, they're going to call lift carry on Springfield. And I think it's stuck in his hands just a little yeah. bit too long. You know, such uh, educated volleyball fans here, everybody. You, you hear the roar of the crowd as soon as there's a little bit of a misplayed ball and it was a delayed whistle. Yeah. The fans didn't delay. They knew it. That's right. They knew right away. <laughs> so 21-18 Hawaii. Oh, they would love to make quick work of the pride tonight and then come back tomorrow against Lewis. And that'll be no easy match. Tanaka. And he manages to put it down inside the block. So a kill for Tyler Tanaka. You can hear the fan club of the young man out of the windward side and uh, his Picks fan up, club. There they are. Picks up his second kill. By the way, those folks, that wasn't even his family. Not the immediate family. That wasn't mom and dad, Carol and Wayne Tanaka. His brother, Ren, was a great golfer. And he went to mid-pack and then to Gonzaga to play his collegiate golf. Marks dug up and then the soft touch great play by Timmer to come in to keep that one alive and then Marks back over the net 
Angel blocked by Lofi and then tapped back over. Great save again by Timmer. And right over the middle. Oh, knocked back over by Nick Costello. And it lands in for the point. What a way to end the point. Nick Costello just protecting his face. There's a nice dig by Timmer to keep the ball alive. There's another dig by Timmer. He had, he had double, uh, double digits in digs last week, night number one against San Diego. And here's the dig by Costello, just protecting himself is all he was doing. He gets credit for, I guess he gets, he gets credit for a dig kill there. A Absolutely. Dig and a kill. Got a point for <laughs> his team. And Crutch in there to serve it away from Hawaii now. 22 to 19. Lofi with the block and Timmer who made a couple of great Saves on that last rally, unable to keep that one alive. And so point Springfield and the Pride back within two. So Nick West back in for Hawaii and then back out as the Libero. Costello stays in. And Angel Perez with the serve. <laughs> well, we saw it from Stephen Hunt. Now we see it from J.P. Marks. Well, one thing we are seeing tonight is some, 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 I think, increased velocity by Hawaii's outside attackers. Timmer's been hot. Hunt's been hot. Marks has been hot. I think right now, I think that it'd be wise for Biscaro to start also getting the middles a little more involved when he gets a good pass. Well, that time, Biscaro puts it into the net. And don't count this first set over just yet. The Springfield team is good. They're well coached. They're scrappy. They're undersized at a couple positions, so they get mismatched at the net a little bit, but otherwise they compete very well. Down by two. Hunt, they get a good swing at it. The overpass, and that one was right there, set up perfectly for Johan Timmer. And that takes us to set point, 24-21. Now you see where that overpass was? That overpass was close to the net. Easy jump up, tap down, and here comes a blocking substitution by Charlie Wade, putting in the 6-7 Taylor Averill for, for Timmer, who is about, um, Timmer's about 6-4. Yep. Timmer's 6-6, it looks like, but he looks like about 6-4. Angel Perez. Knocking it over the net. They're going to set it up. J.P. Marks out of the back row, off the block, saved. Hawaii again, this time. To West off the block. Nice dig back there by Nick Perry. And then ending it, Jared Lofi for the first set. And Hawaii back on the winning track after being swept in their last match. They come out here in the first set. And they take it. Final set score, 25-21. So they'll switch sides, and we'll be back. Hawaii, looking good tonight.